Hey guys, this is Chris from Theme Butler and in this video I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of getting set up with the Beans theme and our child themes. Um, so I've got a standard, the, the latest version of WordPress installed and we'll just head over to the themes, appearance themes page and then just click on the add new button and then upload theme. So from here we'll just select beans um, so we'll get the latest version which is 1.2 at the time of this video and we can go ahead and activate that and now we'll just quickly install the child theme I'm going to use Jenkins for this example And we can go ahead and activate that. So what we'll do is quickly just take a look and see how that looks on the front end. And we can see we've got the standard uh, default content in WordPress. For this, just to make the demo a bit more uh, comprehensive, I'm going to install the um, sample data that comes with the theme but before I do that I just want to change a few things in the settings um, specifically on the media tab I'm going to just untick the crop thumbnail to exact dimensions and organize my uploads um, and then we're also going to set all of these to zero and the reason for that is just so that WordPress doesn't make multiple copies of every single image that we upload so if we didn't change this then they would every time we upload an image WordPress would create a thumbnail medium and large but we're going to leave that up to beans um, and this way we'll have all of our uploads in the uploads folder so we won't have any subdirectories and then there'll only be the original images that we uploaded and then the resized images that are created by the beans theme will be in the beans cache folder so we can just go ahead and save that and now we can go over to the tools import and we'll just install the WordPress importer dun, dun, dun. activate and then run it so we'll just choose the export file that I've created previously and we'll just change this to me and import the file attachments so that means it'll actually pull in the images as well Okay, and now if we go to the front end, we've got all the sample content. Um, the last step, so you can either make your modifications directly on the child theme, but the better way to do it is to rather install the theme customizations plugin, um, which was created by WooThemes. So we'll just go ahead and select that install it. Uh, that plugin can be downloaded from the individual theme product page on themebutler.com. So let's just activate the plugin and now if we go to our sites folder and we choose the tutorial site and the plugins theme customizations so you'll see there's a folder called custom and that's where you can add your um, custom functions your custom CSS your custom JavaScript or any other CSS or JavaScript files that you want to include um, by including your customizations here it means that if there was an update uh, for the, the theme in the future you'd be able to update your child theme without losing any of your modifications. Um, so that's the recommended 
method of customizing. But again, if you're not um, worried about needing to update in the future, you could also just use uh, make your modifications directly on the, in this case, TBR Jenkins. So all of our child themes are prefixed with the TBR um, namespace, which is just short for theme butler. And as you can see, these are just the, the files needed for the specific child theme. And all of the main functionality is coming from the main TM Beans theme. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, we'll keep posting more videos uh, covering different topics using beans and getting the most out of it. Cheers.